We were the trailblazers in Canada. We were the first organization of its kind in Canada. And we didn't have the experience, we didn't have the guidance. So a lot of it was learning by doing and learning through experience. There was such an overlap of, of interests and of uh, specialties. Uh, let's face it, uh, a lot of crop farmers also raised uh, uh, livestock or poultry. A lot of uh, livestock people, most of them also grew crops, either for feed or for bedding or whatever. So it, uh, it, it became quite obvious that a stronger uh, organization using the resources of both those original groups would make a lot of sense. Really, I think that Ag Care um, led the way in helping Ontario farmers kind of find their voice. Really what we wanted to say is that here's a group of people involved in agriculture, involved in, in the environment, who are, uh, have uh, concerns about it, want to make sure that uh, things we do are sustainable. Uh, we're putting forward thoughtful positions in terms of uh, solutions. We have a number of farm organizations um, in the crops and field crops and horticulture side, uh, but we all have some common issues that we need to deal with. Uh, pesticides, biotechnology, environmental farm plans, any environmental initiative with cropland. Um, and so rather than each organization doing it on their own, we come together as a coalition to, uh, to kind of develop our own uh, uh, policy on it and, and move our position forward. Oh, I think it's been an excellent investment. Uh, OFAC was, uh, was breaking new ground at the time. There was no organization. Uh, as we learned more about what happened in Europe, it became very uh, clear that they had no one to do what OFAC was doing, and that's probably why the activist movement got such a foothold there. Most people today are very far removed from uh, farms. They, they don't know what happens, how agriculture is done, and they're very susceptible to what the animal rights people may tell them. 
And I think we have to counter that. I think one of the difficulties also is that once any of us, once we form a particular opinion that something is a certain way, it's very difficult to change our minds on that. And I think that's where we in agriculture have our work cut out to convince people that, uh, no, this isn't true as to, to how it's done. approach we, we've never wavered factual information presented from the farmers perspective so that people can make an informed choice in their own mind and it seemed logical and really a next step to being more effective to join and to update the organization and to be more effective. We don't need more farm organizations. We need to uh, work with each other and represent all of food and farming, uh, not just the farmers. Food Care is an incredible organization in my opinion. Um, we work tirelessly to get the information out to the public as to what it is that farmers do, how we are stewards of the land and we live and, and work on our properties. And in the past few years the quote activist stream has become very vocal which makes uh, a balance of information even more important uh, today than ever before. It's really easy to answer the question why farm food care is important and um, as much as it's easy it's it's a very big answer and I would start by just saying that if there's an opportunity for people like-minded in the same industries with the same passions to come together and identify issues then obviously that's going to be a powerful voice You know, we've been a seed, we've planted these seeds in these individuals. So despite what they, they may be doing today, they are still carrying the messages, they still have the same passion that most of us who've, who've worked for OFAC over the years have. So the vision of farm food care going out to 2030, 2050, you name it, uh, I think is boundless and it doesn't have limits. 
Uh, there's a lot that we can do as an organization, uh, for sure, but also as individuals that support this organization. And I think one of the, um, the biggest impacts is uh, agriculture is everything. It's what we eat, it's what we wear, it's what we put in our cars to get to work. I don't know if we've connected um, that productivity and how it translates to the success of societies. So is that a big vision? For sure. Um, to be able to draw that connection and have that appreciation of the rural economies and what they contribute to the urban economies and vice versa. So to me, I see it as a continuum that it's not just about supporting the farms and the food, but it's also the farms and the food supporting the people that consume and those consumers also backtracking and knowing a whole lot more about uh, where things come from. Enjoyed every every meeting, quite frankly, every uh, annual meeting, every breakfast on the farm, uh, seeing uh, members, volunteers, as well as uh, our officials, our staff people, uh, uh, jump in and pitch in, and just uh, seem to uh, thrive on on getting the job done. And uh, I have every confidence that that attitude will persist. I'm very proud of this organization. Uh, I've been involved with it for a long time and it's been uh, very re rewarding to be a part of such a terrific team that does so much with a limited resources. It's made up of people who care and have a very big effect and uh, I think it's really helped uh, build trust and help the consumers, the general public, to understand agriculture and food. It took the better part of two years, at least 18 months, when one realized at the board table that uh, that fellow sitting across from me who isn't a, isn't a pig person and that other guy isn't a bean grower, that they were all farm and food care team players. <laughs>